And ever since the stay at home order went into effect over the weekend, we've been flooded with questions about which businesses are actually essential. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey has been digging into those gray areas. Megan, one of those involves marijuana dispensaries. Right, Erica, the state says dispensaries like this one in Mundelein are essential businesses, but doesn't specify whether that means recreational or medicinal. This dispensary is interpreting it as both. There are several essential industries that we're getting questions about. How is a car dealership an essential business? Our viewers wanted to know. But it's our service department, our parts department, getting those vehicles back on the road so that uh, our people on the front line just, just keep working. At Arlington Heights Ford, there are a lot of cars and a lot of caution tape. Owner John Guido Jr. points out that they're servicing police, municipal cars, and maintenance vehicles that are crucial for protecting residents. The state says car dealerships can remain open for repair services and car sales by appointment only. And Guido showed us how they're going out of their way to disinfect vehicles at every stage of the maintenance process and to social distance. There's a young man. Um, Wait, Mike. Hi. Mikey's our spotter back there. Mikey's job is to make sure that any car that drives onto the lot, um, he's following that customer journey. Whether the customer likes it or not, they're sitting six feet apart. What about landscapers? These projects fall under construction, agriculture, or public works exemptions. That's why local lawn care chain True Green is staying open. Another surprising one, liquor stores. Stores that sell alcoholic beverages are listed under stores that sell groceries and medicine. We've asked the state for clarification on why that is exactly, but so far we haven't heard back. Meanwhile, cities like Aurora are putting non-essential businesses who stay open on notice, saying today that they'll issue compliance notices for businesses that stay open but aren't on the list. Now, we should say there was a massive line out here earlier today, and they were requiring all of the customers to stand six feet apart, only letting one person in at a time, small groups in to purchase marijuana. Also on the side of the building, they have a drive through specifically for medical marijuana patients. So good to see they are practicing some social distancing out here. Live in Mundelein, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.